Have you got custom fields in your WordPress website in your post or custom post type and you want to return them over to Elementor? You can do that by using some of the dynamic tags. But what if you want to pop them into the text editor? So I've got three fields over here, years of experience, department, project, image one. And inside of this example loop grid, I want to bring back some of those fields inside one text editor, like what you can see over here. Now you can use the traditional dynamic tags. However, when it comes to text editor and you want to amalgamate them and drop some words in between them so you can almost make your own custom paragraph or bit of content, you need to be using an extra code snippet because I'm saying departments and then return this particular custom field with and then this particular custom field and some further words afterwards. If you try and use the bit of code I've got here, that no longer works. You need to use this code snippet. The link for this is in the video description. It's free to get the code if you've never signed up to code snippets, right? Go and copy it get the free code snippets plugin, paste it in, save changes and activate. When it comes to this code, you don't have to touch it. What is really important though is the open square bracket ACF space field equals speech mark pop in the name of the custom field. And you want to be using the label or the name that you will get from where you ever you built the custom field. I basically mean this bit over here. So if I've got years of experience, the name is years underscore of underscore experience. And if you go here, you can see I've used that exact naming terminology format over there as well. So I can combine uh, custom fields and other bits of text. I could even drop an image into here if I wanted to. And when you then view this on the live page, it looks like this. And the bits in bold, I've intentionally made them bold, are now the custom fields. So if you want to have a bit more versatility, use that code snippet. And for anyone that saw my previous video about six months ago, where I shared a version of this code snippet, believe me, this one is far better because what this now does is it will look at the ID and it will return the value because sometimes for some people, the old code sometimes returns the ID instead. I mean, I don't know how your WordPress websites are set up, but this is so much more bulletproof. So make sure you're using this modified and improved code snippet to return fields to your loop grid, your loop carousel, your single post template, your single product templates as well. But if you want to return them, to a text editor, make sure you use that code. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squad. Web is web us wibs. <laughs> I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, <laughs> subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon.